to the Houston Zoo and thank you for coming out to our sea lion keeper talk. My name is Emily. I'm one of the keepers here in our sea lion habitat. Joining me out here in just one moment, we're going to have three of our other trainers, and that's Michelle, Melissa, and Amanda. But most importantly, we have the stars of our presentation today, and that is Jonah, Kamiya, and Callie. So we are, uh, as you can see, in our brand new home here in the Galapagos Islands exhibit. Um, and if you have been here at the zoo before, you've probably seen Jonah, Callie, and Kamiya before. They are three of our five original sea lions. There's Kamiya giving you a big wave. Hello. <laughs> um, and they are um, still getting used to their new home here in Galapagos, but they are definitely enjoying uh, getting to see all of you guys again and getting to um, show off a little bit for, for their adoring fans because we all know that when they were behind the scenes, y'all all missed them very much. Um, so this, like I said, is our brand new home here in the Galapagos. Who here is, this is your first time coming to see the Galapagos? We've got a bunch of you. Well, I hope everybody is enjoying it and has gotten a chance to go see inside. Um, but as you can see, this exhibit is a lot bigger than our old um, home over across the way. It is about four times bigger than our old sea lion habitat. <laughs> which does give our sea lions a lot more room to uh, move around in. It is also a much more dynamic environment. As you can see, if you've gone inside, there's all different uh, levels of elevation in the water. So there's all different areas for our sea lions to swim around in. Uh, there's different underwater caves for them to go into, or I should say tunnels for them to go into, as well as caves. Um, so it's a lot more enriching for them in this home versus their old one. Now, like I said, we have three sea lions out here. We have Camilla, who is on your left. She's waving hello to you. And she is hanging out with Amanda. Now, Camilla is 18 years old. She is one of our female California sea lions. She was born at SeaWorld Orlando, but she came to live here with us when she was about 10 months old. So she has been with us for pretty much her entire life. Now, Camilla is what we call our um, our star student. She is our type A personality. She is our most intense sea lion. She loves to learn new things. She's always on the move, very active, very, very smart. So she is um, definitely always on 100. Uh, and if you do not bring your best Whoa. to her sessions, she definitely will take advantage of that. <laughs> in the middle, hanging out with Melissa, he's in the water right now, is our big guy, and that is Jonah. Let's see if he can come on up and say hello to everybody. There he is. Jonah is what we call our dominant male, which just means that around here he is technically in charge. I say technically because his girlfriend, Camilla, next to him is really the one who's in charge around here. Girls definitely rule the world. Um, there's Jonah. He is a 26-year-old male California sea lion, and he has a really special story. So he was actually a rescued sea lion. He was found stranded off the California coast when he was very young. He was only a few months old at the time of his stranding, and he was found eating things like sand and rocks in order to survive. Now, he didn't have his mother with him, and in sea lion, uh, so the way sea lions are brought up is their mom teaches them everything that they need to know in order to survive. That includes how to fish, how to protect themselves from predators, and even how to swim. So since he didn't have a mom to teach him how to survive, he was deemed non-releasable by the U.S. government. And he went and found a home out in California until about 10 years ago when he came to live here at the Houston Zoo. And that was so that he could come and live with our two girls, Callie and Camilla. So that is Jonah. And then, of course, last but not least, we have Callie, who is all the way on our right, hanging out with Michelle. She's going to go show off how flexible she is. Callie is a, uh, also an 18-year-old female, and she is Camilla's half-sister. They do have different moms, but they share the same dad. So like Camilla, Callie was also born at SeaWorld Orlando and came to us um, when she was about 10 months old. 
Now, Callie, even though she is related to Camilla, they are the exact opposite. Camilla, while well, I said, is very um, intense and very always on the go. Callie is very laid back. She's very sweet. She um, would much prefer to just hang out with her trainers. Um, and just get some scratches and love <laughs> versus always learning new things. She is very smart and does like to learn. However, she's not always as motivated to learn new things. Um, I've once heard a story that Callie left a training session to go chase a butterfly. And that is just the perfect example of Callie and her personality. Now, Callie and Camilla are both mothers. They have their two pups that they live here with. Um, and Jonah is their father. So we do have one big family. Camilla has her nine or her six-year-old daughter TJ, and Callie has her five-year-old son Max. Now that is our original colony. However, back in November we did add four new females to our group, so we have nine sea lions in total. Now these girls, um, they're all females. They came to us from a facility out in California. They are, um, three of them are rescues. One of them was born in human care. And that is Ariel, Calypso, Gaia, and Freya. Now they are hanging out inside right now um, so that our original sea lions can get the spotlight today. However, they have all met each other. We've slowly started to introduce our colonies. Um, we wanted to make sure that all of our girls that came over from um, California, that they got a chance to get to know their environment first uh, before introducing them to our original colony. That way they would be comfortable with their environment before introducing new friends. Um, and then once we did start introducing them, we introduced uh, just the kids and the adult females first. It looks like Camilla and um, Jonah and Callie are all waving goodbye, saying goodbye to you guys. Uh, we wanted to make sure that all of our, our sea lions were getting along and getting to know their environment before we introduced the big guy there, Jonah, since he is our dominant male. He was the last to meet everybody. But so far, everything has been going well. They've all been getting to know each other and having a great time uh, exploring their new home here in the Galapagos Islands. Well, it does look like we've wrapped up with this session, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off mic in just a moment. But I do want to thank everybody for coming out and visiting us here at the Houston Zoo. Just by coming and seeing all of our animals, you are helping to support conservation efforts all around the world. And those do include um, all of our conservation projects that we have out in the Galapagos. Now, while we do not have Galapagos sea lions here at the Houston Zoo, we do have a great um, representation of them in our California sea lions. Uh, they are all connected by one shared ocean, just like we all are across the world. So just by doing small things here in Houston, you can actually help animals out in uh, the rest of the world, including there in the Galapagos. So again, I want to thank everybody for coming and seeing us. If you guys have any questions, make sure to come by and find me. I'll be standing here for a few more minutes to answer any questions you guys might have. If you do not have any questions, I hope you all have a great rest of your day here at the Houston. Since you. Bye, everybody.